Hi, beautiful. Today's video is for me and me only. I do love you guys very, 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 very much, but there's some things in my life that I just need to do regardless if it gets views or not. I just feel like today was the right day to make myself a toupee. I've had this toupee laying in my closet for months now. Um, just your average blonde toupee. It's like pretty normal. A few months ago, I was just fascinated by all these guys making these lace front wigs. And I was like, well, that's fun and all, but it involves like always having my hair trimmed and always having to like slick back all my hair. And it's just like a lot of work for me. And like, I don't want to do a lot of work ever, even though I do a lot of work. So I wanted a hair piece that would clip on to the top of my head like this and look realistic. I am about to transform it into my dream hair, which is like a blue neon green sort of moment. All right, get, get out of my way. This is something I've always wanted and it's finally becoming a reality. I'm gonna color it, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna pluck it, put clips on it, love it, kiss it, all kinds of things. And you're gonna watch me do it and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Let's do it. <laughs> Today's one of those types of videos that I have no plan for. I had like a sort of a plan, but like very little plan and like, so if you guys see me kind of like going a little crazy today, it's because when I don't have a plan on what to film, I just end up losing it in front of the camera. And then you just kind of see me having a mental breakdown for like four hours. And I'm gonna play, I got my wig stand, and I'm okay, I got my wig stand, and I'm gay. Let's pop this baby onto this wig block, and let's begin. So if you, for some reason, wanna like buy the same wig and it doesn't come the same way as this one does, well, that's because I already cut off the surrounding like plastic on it. That doesn't make sense, but it'll make sense if you buy the wig. This wig is like full on lace. Like I honestly haven't seen better lace than this in a long time, like it is seamless. You can't even see that there's lace there. It's actually pretty legit already. So I'm just gonna make it even better. So my plan right now is to, oh sh I forgot the first step. This is what happens when I don't plan, see? I'm gonna put some got to be glued all in the inside of the wig so that the knots and the lace doesn't get colored by the dark color I'm about to put on the roots. I actually have never tried this on the inside of a wig cap. I use like um, Vaseline usually, but I don't have any. Should be fine. I've seen other people use it. Um, so I'm just putting a bunch on the inside of the cap. <laughs> this is going to be hell to get off. This is not a good idea. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It could be a good idea, but also it could be one of the worst ideas I've ever had. When I paint the inside of wigs, so they just really not like push it down into the crevices too much, but really get it on like, the edges because that's the part that everybody's gonna see. And though if those damn edges are painted with color, it's gonna look so ugly. All right, I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I'll see you then. She's coated. She's good to go. I just gave it a little blow dry with cold air. Um, and it's not dry by any means, but I am overweighting, so. I'm gonna put it on the wig stand and hope that it doesn't seep through. Looking like damn Andy Warhol in here. All right, so we're talking about color now. So the plan is to give it a little root because um, while well, the sides of my hair are not colored, so I kind of want it to feel like my hair grew out and I shaved the sides but left the top colored. I am doing just one of the classic root colors I usually do, which is equal parts 7NA and 8NN, which is um, Goldwell. And with that, I am using the pink developer from Goldwell that goes with the 8NN, which is a demi-permanent gray coverage color. Now this is gonna give it a little bit of a gray tone for sure. Normally I would put some GG mix in here to compensate for the amount of ash in this. I do like a little bit of ash, but I think NA is a little bit too, too much ash, but that's okay because I can't go to the store because well, I'm quarantined and I can't get more color because um, Goldwell doesn't ship. I'm going with this today and it's gonna be great, I hope. We're just gonna do a grown out double process kind of look. How somebody's hair would look as if they bleached it a couple months ago. So it's gonna be like a short little root, not too long, but it's going to be like the same all throughout. Oh my God, kind of into that. Like what? Look how real that scalp looks, are you kidding? I mean, like I kind of love it, but like also kind of hate it. All right, so it's pretty simple. We're just gonna section out four quadrants. All 
All right, we got our four quadrants. Now I'm just going to start tapping that root and not tapping too hard because we don't want to color that beautiful lace. Um, hopefully, you know, that base we put on before will protect it, but this process is definitely difficult with hair this light. It is going to be crucial that we don't push too hard. We clean off our hands anytime we get any color on it. That way it doesn't travel all down the hair strand and everything doesn't just turn dark. No, these are the times I start to miss real scalps. I'm just like, I want to be rough with it, man. I want to just like put the damn color on and move on. I don't want to like dilly dally here. Real scalps don't stain, believe it or not. Well, they do temporarily. We're making our way around the head and it's looking so good and I'm homebound. Da -na 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 -na. I am done separating out the quadrants and now I'm just gonna quickly go in and apply this root shadow. It is already developing, it's looking so good so far. I'm getting really psyched about this. I am really, really taking my time here. Normally I would go so fast on a real human, but this, you cannot go fast. You need to take your time because you don't wanna get that lace colored. This wig has so much hair on it, it's crazy. I finish all of the roots. As you can see, they're processing beautifully, better than expected. I think it's going to match my hair color pretty perfectly, and I'm excited. So we're gonna wait probably about 20 minutes. I'm gonna rinse this off, blow dry it, and we'll come back and apply the rest of the colors, which is the fun part. It's the blue and the green. It's gonna be really pretty. I'll be right back. Well, I've been gone. I've been working away. I did a wonderful shadow root, and actually, it's the most perfect color to match my hair. The side of my hair matches perfectly to this. This is going to look so good on my head. I'm so excited. And honestly, it came out better than I could have ever expected. And all of the lace is beautiful and there's no color on it. The um, got to be ultra glued worked wonders. Highly recommend it. And also be very gentle when you're putting the color on. So of course, here in front of me, we have our colors for today. We're using Arctic Fox. We are doing a blue and green moment like we talked about. I am using, what is this called? Aquamarine for the roots, which is a very bright blue. and. Then I am mixing neon moon and iris green together to make a neon green because I did not have that on deck. So this is what it looks like and this is what this looks like and I'm ready to have some fun. I just wanna overcompensate with the green a little bit because we are gonna cut off a lot of these ends. They're looking a little ratchet and nasty. Um, we're still gonna keep it long, but I definitely want that green to shine through even after we cut it. So let's keep that in mind. I'm also going to attempt to um, avoid that root we just made with the colors we're using now because I don't want them to be tinted like blue or anything like that. I want them to stay very like ash toned, you know, just how they are. I don't want them to change at all. So we're gonna avoid the root as much as possible. It's gonna be a little hard because the roots are very, very small, but we'll, we'll try, we'll try. I might go crazy, but what else is new? All right, let's begin. I'm a little bit nervous and I'm sweating to death because it's so hot in here. Wow, this is going to be very difficult. <laughs> Oh God, I gotta get the hang of this real quick. Oh my God, I'm sweating. No, we're good, we're good. We're just gonna cruise along here and just keep applying the color. As you can see, it is very bright. Now I don't wanna get it on the root and I'm really trying hard. I'm putting something on my lap so I don't drop this all over me because we know that is bound to happen at some point here. Okay, this is one of the hardest <laughs> things I've ever done. It's proving to be harder than I thought because there's so many little hairs everywhere, but I, I mean, it'll come out good. It'll be great. I hope. The most important thing when you're working with wigs is that you're patient. Patience is a virtue. It doesn't come naturally to everybody, <clears throat> me. And you know, I was very patient with those roots and they came out great. Hopefully I have enough patience to get through the whole damn thing. It'll be great. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know what I mean? You know, this is going to indeed look very cool, I'm pretty sure, once I'm all finished. <laughs> Wigs are so tedious. Ah. We've completed one 
section. Uh, do I win anything? No. Okay, good. It looks beautiful. It's very bright. You know, I really do love coloring hair. Don't get me wrong, I really do. Like, it's fun, it's so cool to see the outcome. However, must it be so messy? Like, that's what I don't get. Like, I just put this back in here after cleaning it and now it's messy again. And it makes me wanna just like take my head off my body and throw it across my room and then stomp on it. And so guys, when you pull the hair back away from the face, when you're doing any kind of like blended color like I'm doing, you're gonna get a much better gradient when you let the hair lay down flat. So I'm pulling everything away from the face right now. When it's laid flat, it'll give a variation to the color. Instead of actually coloring the hair horizontally from the part, you're coloring it vertically from the part. It'll give you a much more natural, lived in look and the lines won't be harsh. Super easy way to make your color look a little bit more professional even at home. And that's what I call blue, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the blue off camera and I'll be back to do the green part, which is gonna be fun, fun, fun. I'm so hot and I can't turn on my air conditioning because it's too loud right now. Ah! I just can't wait to put this on my head, honestly. I don't wanna do any more, but I do wanna put it on my head and I do wanna feel satisfied with how it looks. So we're gonna get through it. It's gonna be fine. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, is that green. Guys, the stress of just making sure I don't get the lace colored and the this colored and the dark colored and the roots colored and the... <laughs> a lot of stress for one boy to handle. I'm really making sure that that color is in there on all the hair strands, you guys. You wanna put a lot of color on your hair. When doing really anything, it's going to really help make everything even and, you know, just make sure you're raking your fingers through. You know, we can actually use a comb for this part too. That would actually help me a lot. That way we know we got everything covered. Let's continue to get this damn color on her head. Also, the comb helps make that blue color very faded out. I like to start with the front um, only because usually you have more energy in the front of a head and you want to use your energy for, you know, the most important part of the head, which is the front, because that is what everybody sees. So I highly recommend starting in the front of your hair when you do things, unless you have to start in the back for some reason. And you know, these colors are really thriving also because the hair color that I'm working on right now is very white. I mean, there is no yellow anywhere and it is very even. I don't know how they did this um, so perfectly. It came this way and I am lucky because when you're doing blues, you really wanna make sure that the hair is nice and white before you start or else, you know, you're gonna get some issues with the blue turning green because blue and yellow make green. I'm surprised being a hairstylist isn't like every kid's dream. What is more fun than what I'm doing right now? I will tell you, and the answer is nothing. <laughs> oh my God, these roots look so real, it's so crazy. Uh, I hate it, I love it, oh my God. All right, you guys, I did the first two sections. This is looking spicy, that's all I can say. I'm gonna finish the last two off camera and I will check back with you in a moment. Is this coming out better than I expected it would? Yeah. Am I happy about it? Yeah. Do I regret anything? No. This looks actually <laughs> Thank God, because it is mad late in here and I wanna go to bed, but I'm actually kind of motivated to finish this. Um, So this looks dope. This is like the coolest color ever. I'm gonna give this baby a haircut now. I'm gonna get rid of all these straggly ends. You know, give it a style. I'm gonna spray a little Hydromania in just to detangle the hair and make it nice and soft. We're gonna shake it up and we're just gonna All right, so I mean the haircut, you know, we're just gonna trim all these ends off. We're gonna layer it up just a tad bit. Boom. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, that feels so good to get rid of that. Boom. Should I give it a bowl cut? Should I have a bowl cut? Is that the vibe we're going for? Is it a bowl cut day or a mullet? I think mullet. I should do a mullet wig. I could finally live out my mullet fantasy without actually like really having one. 
Is that a good length in the front? I think that's cute. I think I want to keep this long. I just think it'll be like more fun. You know, cause like my hair's not that long and um, I haven't had long hair in a while. So why not just make this my long hair fantasy? Something that I don't have, you know? I think that'd be more fun. Well, I mean, I definitely don't have this color, do I? All right, let's add some layering in, in here. We're just gonna do it kind of on the back. We're just gonna add a little bit of a bevel of layering in here just to give it some movement and some more body. I am definitely thinking I'm going to style this wavy because that is more fun. This is one of the most fun videos I've actually ever filmed just because it's going my way. And you know why it's going my way? Because I actually have patience. It's amazing what happens when you have patience. I'm like, this is so weird to cut like this. I'm like sitting down and I'm like cutting backwards. We got that layering going in there. Ooh, yes, look at that movement. That color <sighs> could not be any better. Oh my God. Guys, hair is just the coolest medium. You can do so much with a head of hair, like a blank canvas kind of head of hair like I had today. There's just like endless possibilities. And that is what is so fun about my job is that I just get to create and then my art gets to be worn around and shown off to other people. My art is wearable, like how cool is that? And then the hair grows out and you get to do it all over again. Like that's so cool. Any artist out there cannot relate. <laughs> Your canvas does not just grow back. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shred this up a little bit more just to get rid of some of this bulk. We're just gonna go in here and just get rid of some of this bulk because it is thick, honey. And I don't wanna make this too perfect. Like some of you are probably like, oh my God, what are you doing? And I'm just like, <laughs> you know what? I'm going with the flow right now because I just wanna get rid of this bulk and I don't mind if it's like a little bit shredded looking. Like I want it to look natural. Like I don't want this hair to look too perfect. We're getting there, guys. We're almost there with the haircut. I just want to get rid of more of this bulk. It is so bulky, which is great. It's a great canvas to start with. Oh, damn. You looking hot. Look at that movement that was added in here. It's so good. This is going to look so shaggy. Okay, now the haircut is all done. It is looking like a K-pop star type of haircut. I'm gonna be styling it wavy, so of course I'm gonna use wave tech. This stuff will make your hair so damn wavy, even if it's pinned straight naturally. And if you have curly hair, it'll define your curls like crazy. Bring your waves to ringlets. It literally performs magic on hair. It also gets rid of your frizz and allows your hair to hold the style for a much longer time than usual. And it's not crunchy, it does not make your hair crunchy. I know we hate that. So I made sure that it doesn't do that. So what I like to do is just shake it up real quick, apply it to the comb, and I like to just rake it through. And we're just gonna get on every single hair strand. God, it smells so good. And make sure we get on that hairline. I like to be generous with this, man. All right, so you can really just scrunch the hair back into place after you put this product on and let it air dry, or you can diffuse your hair to get even better effects with this product. I'm just gonna take some of the hair strands and just form a curl with them. You know, just get that pattern in there. You can totally do this with your hair or you can just scrunch it. It's really, really easy to use this product. Scrunching is great, but make sure you're really styling the top layer of your hair because however you leave it to dry, it will dry like that. So if you have frizz in the top, make sure you get rid of that before you dry it or air dry it. You're gonna be way better off that way and it's going to make a much better end result. You can also wrap tiny pieces of hair around your finger to make little tiny waves. There's all sorts of ways to manipulate hair and still have it look really natural. 
All right, I love the way this looks right now. So I am gonna do the next step. So now I take this contraption. Um, I will link it below. It attaches to any blow dryer and it just blows heat through this into the cap and dries your hair. I love to use this with wigs and with mannequins because I hate standing there for a long period of time. Drying them, it's so annoying when I could just leave them under the heat. Um, this is great to use on real people too. And it's amazing to dry wavy or curly hair because it doesn't mess with your wave pattern. It makes your hair so smooth. There's no frizz. I highly recommend getting one of these and they're so cheap. So no reason not to get one. I like to put this on like high air and medium heat. And we're gonna let that dry and I'll be right back to show you the finished results. <gasps> okay. The wig has been secured to my head. I put some clips on it, made it all work, and it's a look. Are you ready to see it? In three, two, one. I don't know what to think of it. I think I love it, but I also think like, this is such a big change for me right now that it's like slightly weird to see myself with this on. I can't tell if it looks amazing or terrible, but I'm kind of feeling myself. Like I'm kind of into it. I'm really into the color, that is for sure. I am not totally sure I'm like obsessed with how the wig looks, but I think it's working. Listen, I'm just gonna go with it. I am happy. This is good enough for me today. It was a very new thing for me and I think I I, you know, did something. Um, is it amazing? Maybe not, but I did something. I finally got to use this toupee and make it work and have fun with it. And it actually kind of looks like my real scalp and it's definitely a different look. And it's something that I can rock whenever I want colorful hair. I'll probably get better at this in the future, but this works for me. Um, and I can't really see anything because hair is in my eyes. Let me know what you guys think of my new look. Should I actually color my hair this color? Cause it's hot. It's like kind of amazing. Like mm, 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 mm. that was a long process. Um, I've been doing this for like six hours now and we finally have a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, well then give it a thumbs up. I never ask people to do that, but today I feel like it was a lot for me. Well, you guys, that is all for me today. Make sure you follow me on all the different social media networks, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter under Bradamondo NYC. You guys can also find my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Bradmondo. Ooh, girl, I'm everywhere. And if you guys would like to purchase any of the beautiful, amazing Xmondo hair products that were shown in today's video, they will be linked below for you along with our Instagram, Xmondo Hair. Follow us on there to stay up to date with all new product launches happening all the damn time. And to just be a part of the best hair community in the world. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I can't stop looking at myself, to live your extra life. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. This is Glitterati, our styling serum. Glitterati will deliver hold, shine, and lightweight hydration combined with the most beautiful touch of pink sparkle. Glitterati can be used on any hair type or texture. We've also added argan oil and chamomile extract to help strengthen your hair and just make it feel and look luxurious.